The Alberta government says no more photo radar on Edmonton's Anthony Henday or Calgary's Ring Road, but you'll still see it in different spots around the province. So there's a lot uh, of concern over fishing holes that we've heard from Albertans. Uh, spots essentially that municipalities know can generate lots of ticket revenue without actually improving traffic safety. You won't see automated enforcement fishing for speeders on Alberta's two ring roads starting December 1st. The province put a freeze on new photo radar equipment and sites in 2019 and now say they have years of data showing how much money these sites generate. Alberta's Transportation Minister breaking down the numbers at Thursday's announcement just off the Anthony Henday. So when you look behind me there is about 1,500 tickets that get issued here on a quarterly basis about every three months uh, that generate about $200,000 worth of revenue. So in about one year here just outside of Edmonton, they'll have a million dollars worth of, of photo radar tickets. You may see more photo radar elsewhere. 22 photo radar sites in Edmonton and six in Calgary will be redeployed to different areas in those cities that need speed enforcement like construction and school zones, as well as potentially residential streets. Edmonton City Councillor Joanne Wright says she's happy with Thursday's announcement, telling City News the constituents of her ward in southeast Edmonton have been calling for speed enforcement, pointing to five traffic fatalities in the last year. For me, it's not about revenue generation. It is about the deterrent to speeding in our neighbourhoods. Our, you know, our residents need to feel safe uh, walking about with their families, um, you know, seniors crossing the, you know, crossing roads as well. The province will spend the next year consulting with police and municipalities on how to make sure photo radar is used only for safety and not as a cash cow. In response, Edmonton police say they look forward to working with the province as well as advocating for legislation that would allow police to seize vehicles caught traveling at excessive speeds. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Robchan, City News.